Hey everyone, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So today we are going to be working on um, a couple things. The first of which <clears throat> is we have here some um, immersite that we brought back from our Vulcanite planet. And if you're wondering how we got that, uh, I did a stream last Saturday, and so all of the details um, and all of the adventures that we had are in that mod, or not that mod, in that VOD. Um, <clears throat> and I'll, that'll be available on my Twitch page, and I'll also link it in the description below. Um, so we did a bunch of different things. Uh, we set up nuclear power here, which uh, is obviously helping our power out quite a lot, honestly. And there are some improvements I would like to make to this. Uh, for instance, um, <clears throat> finishing off some pipes there. Uh, no, but I would like to uh, limit the amount of fuel that we're using by not inserting into uh, our chests when the steam tanks here are full. So that's one improvement that I would like to make. Um, and then we still gotta do some more, um, some refactoring and adding a few other buildings for fuel, cell reprocessing and things like that. Uh-oh, uh, crashed rocket, you're joking. Well, that is super unfortunate and just classic, honestly. Um, but okay, that's not the end of the world, I suppose. Um, we'll just have to go clean that up at some point. Um, that's gonna hurt us in terms of um, Vulcanite, but we have here 14,000 blocks right now, so we should be okay with that. Um, and that means that we can work on um, the Immersite processing. Also, we got some scrap here that we can get rid of. Um, but our goal is we want to work towards this optimization tech card. And so we have blank tech cards. Obviously, those are really easy to make. Um, but the optimization research data is not as easy to make. Um, so this is obviously going to have to happen in space since it's made in a space manufactory. Uh, we need speed modules. So I think it's kind of cool. Like this needs speed modules. This needs efficiency modules. And this needs prod mods. So it's kind of cool how they did that. Um, heat shielding, which we're already making, so that'll be super easy. And I think we're, yeah, we're already bringing it up anyways, so that'll be, that's, you know, a non-issue. Um, machine learning data, we're already making. Lubricant, um, which we do have in space already, so that's also a non-issue. Which just leaves, um, you know, adding speed modules to our request to be sent up, and then actually doing all of our Immersite processing. So let's take a look at the Immersite processing. You can see that right over here. So you can start off by, let's see, what do we need to do? We need to crush it first, all right? So we'll take raw Immersite and crush it. We'll get sand and we'll get crushed Immersite out. Perfect. Then um, that crushed Immersite will be mixed with sulfuric acid <clears throat> to make Immersium sulfide, okay? And then that immersium sulfide will be mixed with nitric acid to make fine immersite powder and nitrogen. So we'll have to, I guess, burn off the nitrogen. I don't really think that there's any, like we are using nitrogen, nitrogen in some processes, but I don't think it's worth it to keep 10 nitrogen. I don't know, <coughs> excuse me. And then last but not least, mixing silicon, fine immersite powder, and immersium sulfide to make crystals, or doing fine immersite powder mixed with rare metals to make plates and sulfur. Interesting output there, sulfur. Hmm. Um, so my thinking is that um, we will have an off-site processing place that does all of this, um, but that means that we're gonna have to start shipping silicon I don't know. Now what? Bro. If there are more biters over here, I'm going to be a, a little upset. Where did these biters come from? I literally... Okay, so I was here in... Um, I was here just last... Like, on the live stream. And I literally was checking to make sure that there are no more biters. And clearly, I did not get them all because... Um, they are destroying my base over there. Wonderful. All right, well... I'm gonna go deal with those and then I will be right back. Okay, so crisis has been averted and um, we've dealt with the biters over there. I've also increased the power production over there 
to hopefully be able to do something about that uh, in the future and so that we don't run into that same issue. Also, it looks like we are full of stone here. So um, what we're gonna do is we are going to switch these to doing landfill with stone so we can start getting rid of some of this stuff. Uh, let's see, landfill with stone, here we go. <laughs> And it looks like it just dumped sand everywhere, but that's okay. And okay, so we should start getting rid of some of that stone now, which is good. And we also now um, need to deal with uh, all of this um, immersite in here. And I really hope that we start dealing with that stone. Oh, it looks like it's taking from our uh, storage first, which I guess makes sense. Uh, but looks like we're gonna have to get rid of a lot of stone before it starts to pull out of here, but that's okay. It'll eventually catch up. Um, but now we can start dealing with our Immer site, and let's just get rid of some stuff in our inventory that we just don't need at the moment. Um, I don't know why I have a million pipes in here. Probably from some build that I was going to do and then never did or something. Uh, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Uh, don't need this, don't need this. Okay. This looks good. Um, so we are going to start working on dealing with this Immersite. And as I said, we probably are gonna do this off base somewhere, which means that actually this landfill is gonna be super helpful because we'll be able to landfill like a strip right over here uh, to add in a train or something. So let's see how we're doing on landfill over here. Oh, nice, we have actually quite a bit of landfill. Um, and that one's gonna go a little bit more slowly, but that's okay. So we've got landfill. Um, which will be good for exporting over here. And so let's first, first things first, let us um, extend this out a little bit further. Just, um, we'll be able to do some more pyroflux over here in the future. Um, so that's good, but let's see, we have our Immersite here. Maybe we'll bring the Immersite down like this and then straight down here. So let's come, let's pretend like the belt's coming down right here. And then we'll have our train come in here, I guess. So let's make this four wide, I guess. And do a huge strip uh, down here. And unfortunately, that's gonna run right into our pumps for our nuclear. Okay, that's fine. We have enough landfill that doesn't matter. Uh, so let's do it right here. Looks like we could do, perhaps. And if we need to, we can always move over a little bit more too, because we should still have enough landfill to do all of this as well. So we'll have this nice little uh, strip here uh, to bring a train in. So let's see, if we bring a train in like here, yeah, we can definitely do that. Okay. And we can build like this. And I don't have any track on me, but I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, our bots will bring the track and build. And what the heck? There we go. Okay, that was kind of a weird interaction. Um, and then we don't have signals either. Nice. Okay, so we'll do regular signals uh, that, that we can place. So we can place this. And we already have a signal there. We have a signal there. That one's fine. I uh, just need to add a signal here. And then I need to add this here and here. And we've got a signal there. Okay, perfect. So that uh, is it for our train here. And then we'll bring this all the way up here. And um, then we'll build a, a station right there. And then we're gonna put a warehouse for our Immer site, probably, well, let's see. Uh, once our, okay, now we can actually see. So the Immer site is gonna go here and we'll be able to do our warehouse like this with um, one belt going into into it. Should, should go into it uh, like this. There we go. Okay. And then we'll just, we don't need more than one belt. Uh, that's a little bit close there. So let's uh, do, and I guess we're, we want another warehouse here for Immersite to come out like this. And then we'll do our raw Immersite. There we go. All right, so that'll start being exported. And then um, we can bring it over this direction. 
And let's see. There we go. That is Immersite. Okay, so the goal now is to um, figure out all the things that we need in order to do Immersite properly. Okay, so we need um, we need pulverizers, right? So we're gonna grab buildings for all of this. All right, so we need pulverizers. Um, and let's say that we wanna make, let's do a factory planner. Oh yeah, we do, we do need to do this steel at some point too. Um, but we do have Immersite now, so we might as well do this. <clears throat> and um, basically what it comes down to is the fact that we need a ton of buildings and we can't even produce all those buildings right now because we are out of steel. We have basically no steel coming in and so, I think that the correct decision in this case is actually not to do the Immersite, unfortunately, even though I said we were going to. Um, now that we're actually to the point of, you know, figuring out all the buildings and everything, it just doesn't make sense because we don't have steel, so we really should do the steel first. So, steel is a much easier build, thankfully. Um, so here's what we need to do for this. And let's see, we can change this to assembling machines, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but okay, so this is for 1800 steel a minute, which is a decent amount of steel. Um, and that is, let's see, I still am a little bit bad at this, but okay, so that's one red belt of steel, which is a decent amount, like that's a lot of steel. Um, but actually looking at this, this really is not that, like too many buildings for a whole red belt of steel. Like in the base game, getting a red belt of steel is incredibly difficult. Um, so in order to do all this stuff, um, we need to make uh, fertilizer and uh, that is gonna be done in our uh, greenhouses, uh, or not done in our greenhouses, but it's for our greenhouses to make um, wood. And we need 12 fertilizer per minute. So let's just take a look at this really quickly. Um, so we just need one biolab uh, working on biomatter and then we need nitric acid, we just need 24 a minute, that is no big deal. I am confident that we are producing plenty of that at the moment. Um, so let's set up fertilizer really quickly. Um, and I just need to grab some buildings, I guess, for that. So I will be right back once I have uh, the buildings. All right, guys, so I have our bio lab and uh, this bio lab needs um, 50 petroleum gas and 50 oxygen to make biomatter. So in order to do that, we are going to connect up our um, petroleum line here. And let's see, we can reach all the way here, very nice. And we're just gonna run down this way. Let's see where we can fit this. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. Yeah, we can probably go right here actually. Um, so let's see, just can come right in here. It's a little bit tight. It's a little bit of a tight fit here, honestly. Um, especially with this line here, but we can actually do this. I think this works fine. Um, so let's bring this over here and then we'll put that right there. There we go. So that is petroleum. And then we just need oxygen as well. And do I have, I do not have one of those things. So let's grab one of these. The bots will come place it and we don't need more than that. Um, and then we'll power everything. There we go, and that will be biomatter. Um, so it takes 60 seconds, so we'll put some speed modules in there. And, um, I, but I don't think that we need anything, uh, I don't think we need more buildings than this. Let's see, this makes 300 every 10 seconds, so that should be fine. Um, and now, let's see, this is almost twice as fast, so it takes about 30 seconds. So if we come back over here, we only need five biomatter every minute anyways. Um, so this only needs to run once every minute, basically. Um, so that's more than we need anyways. And then uh, we also need to do um, nitric acid with that biomatter to make fertilizer. So let's grab uh, a chem plant here. And we're finally gonna use this nitric acid that we made and then uh, never utilized. And let's see, this is unfortunately like right in line with this, huh? That's okay. I, I always just like trying to keep things on separate um, 
rows so that they don't ever overlap accidentally and then you have like messy pipes and stuff like that. Um, and how many buildings of this do we need? Just one, one doing this. Um, and we probably will do, well, hmm. yeah, just one is fine. Um, we'll, we'll do two though because there's gonna be other buildings that are gonna need it. And we're just gonna run the nitric acid like this. And where is, there it is, fertilizer. And I think let's do, let's do it like this, where it's got um, the chests in the, in the middle. Uh, <laughs> what am I doing here? Uh, so it's gonna be grabbing from a chest and then putting it into a chest. There we go, let's move this just up a little bit. Get rid of the logistics bots we picked up. And then uh, we shall power everything. So requester and provider, and we'll do three stacks of that. Fertilizer, um, and we don't even need to speed it up or anything, I don't think. Um, so we'll just request some biomatter, make it a little bit extra, like 30, I don't know. 30 biomatter should be fine. And these will get to work making um, our fertilizer. So that is the first step done. All right, so we've got, well, actually it's the first two steps, I guess. So we've got um, bio labs making biomatter. We've got now chem plants making fertilizer. Now we need to have greenhouses that are sped up with speed modules making wood for um, coke. So this, this wood here is gonna go directly um, into making coke. Uh, right here, I guess, um, with some coal. And I'm trying to decide if we should ship off site the fertilizer with the sand or if we should just do it on site and then um, combine it with the coal that we already have in our on our bus um, or in our system, however we wanna do it. And I think that that seems reasonable and then we'll ship the coke off site um, to be joined in with, uh, with the rest of our um, steel process. So then the question is, is where do we do the um, where do we do our wood processing? And let's see, we do we have greenhouses? We do not. So we need seven greenhouses for that. I believe it was. Okay, 6.3, but seven, we'll round up. Um, and let's see, where, where do we even have room to do this? Um, I don't want to do it over here. This, I have a feeling that this area is gonna get jam-packed with other buildings and stuff eventually. Um, and this is just making wood to be combined with coal to make coke. We do have coal on our belt here. Um, the question is, is, is that good enough? I don't think so. Also, this iron is basically gone now. So this is why steel is suffering. <laughs> uh, so this is why we need to be doing this. And so we have, um, we have our coal coming in down here from our train. And do we have sand anywhere? Well, we got this sand. We, we can just pull this stone belt over here and uh, crush some stone into sand. How, how many crushers do we need for sand? Uh, we didn't calculate that, did we? So let's do sand. Okay, we need <laughs> one crusher. Okay. All right, so we just need one crusher doing this. That That is uh, fine. So let's come over here and we can craft a crusher ourselves. It's fine. All right, so stone, 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 right here. There we go. And then let's come, how are we gonna do this? It's a little bit ugly, I will admit, to be fair. Let's come right through here and not hopefully get run over by a train. All right, so coal is down here. All right, we're gonna do these buildings right over here and then it'll actually work out nicely, I think, because let's do this really quickly, okay? So we need um, 12 buildings doing this and let's see what happens if we add um, modules, right? So we add modules, we add modules with a beacon. Okay, we need just four buildings doing it. 
Um, so let's... I, I, I think that let's do that, that building first, actually, just so we can fit everything in here, right? So we're going to have a train that'll come in, and we'll have the train come in right here, okay? Uh, this is all just so that we can uh, map out how things are going to work. And then um, we can actually, like, copy this, I guess. There we go. And then we can copy this here. All right, so this is... There we go. So this is our steel train. This is where it's going to come in, right here, okay? And then these belts are all kind of in the way. But again, we only need four buildings doing this. So this is going to be squeezed in here. And these are all going to be speed moduled. And then they're all going to be beaconed as well. Uh, so let's see. We can do beacon here. And basically, I'm doing this so that I... Um, I know where all these buildings are going to be so that I can um, plan out where my other train is going to come in because I want the steel train and the iron train to come in next to one another and then so we'll have our other build we'll bring this stone down over here and we'll probably have our other train come in here I guess I don't know I don't know seems like a, an okay place <clears throat> and then um, so it's gonna be the steel get rid of these trees and that's going to be output from the uh, warehouse there we go and probably don't need a stack inserter but we're going to need stack inserters to do the exporting so we're going to need one two one two one two one two and then we'll drop um, half of them on the near side Okay, and we also should do the override stack size. This stack, this is so that um, the the belts are balanced because otherwise I don't think they will be, or not balanced that they're compressed. I mean, okay, so that is going to be steel, and we'll probably just we'll figure out what to do with that later. But I just wanted to make sure that this build was uh, completed, so that um, again we knew where we need to. Um, put everything so then this uh, bu these buildings can come right down here hmm. let's do these buildings we need seven of them right so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven okay and I guess the bots are gonna build the rest of those not me Yep, looks that way. All right, that's fine. And then we just need um, one crusher, right over here, I suppose. And then we need 12 electric furnaces that are all beaconed and whatnot uh, to make coke. So let's uh, deal with all this first, right? So this is gonna be, these are making the, um, the wood with both sand and fertilizer so sand is gonna come out of here and let's say export okay so this is sand and then I think um, there we go there we go all right so that's sand that's plenty and then I think what we're going to do is do maybe a requester that um, is requesting fertilizer, because I think that's probably the easiest way. All right, so let's pull this over here. And <clears throat> then we'll power everything. Let's request that. Uh, no sand, though. We don't want to do sand, just fertilizer. Okay. And then uh, we shall copy this along the way. There we go. And we need one more of these down here. And then we just need to power everything. 
There we are. All right, so these should all start working here very shortly as soon as we get this crusher um, hooked up. So let's come back to our stone line, which is what we were originally working on. Um, we can actually come down like right, right here. There we go. And then we'll come right alongside this coal belt. Okay, and then, all right, we're right here. Perfect. It's a little bit messy, but such is life. You can't do, uh, you can't do much about that. All right, so these will start working here, as I said, very shortly. And what did we need to do with these? These just needed the beacons. They didn't need anything else. Or I mean the modules, not any beacons. Um, so those will get to work here pretty quickly. Um, Oh, actually they won't, because <laughs> I have forgotten one of the main ingredients, which is water. And while we could probably grab from some water line, I don't want to steal too much water. These take 400 water each. So um, to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to run this direction. And thankfully the lake is pretty close here. And can I craft an offshore pump? I can. Okay want to make sure before we get over there and then don't want to get over there and then realize oh hey I can't I can't do what I was hoping all right am I gonna die here no I, I it has been an incredibly long time since I've died uh, to a train and I do not want to about I don't want to break that streak now um, be kind of embarrassing oh I'm just walking across the track no big deal and uh, our friendly train is coming by all right Here's the pipe and the offshore pump. And of course it's not powered, but it will be. And the real question is, is should I just do a wind turbine? And the answer of course is probably yes, because that's easiest and most reliable. How much do these produce? I don't know, not enough for this to work full speed, but it doesn't need to work full speed, I don't think. Um, Okay. Yeah, it's not working full speed by any means, but uh, 500 a second is obviously plenty. Because um, each of these buildings needed 400 every minute-ish. So I, I don't think we'll have any problems whatsoever. And okay, so they make 80 wood. Um, all right. I think what we'll do is we'll have our electric furnaces right down here. And let's see, the question is, is, is one red belt fast enough? Probably, probably. All right, we'll do this, drop it on the near side and do that. Okay. Um, oops, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. It's I'm I'm confused, but I think I think we're good. All right, and then um, I guess we'll just grab right here. We can grab uh, from this belt. Okay, so that's we're doing good. We're doing good. All right, so we need to do electric furnaces then here um, because we can't do anything. We can't do industrial furnaces. I, I like the idea that like industrial furnaces get too hot or something and you can't do it. I just think that seems kind of cool. Like a cool interaction. Okay, so uh, we need to do Coke. They need six and six, huh? Okay. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how we're gonna fit um, the beacons in, because we do need to do beacons. The beacons are lit. If you uh, know, know Lord of the Rings, you'll know what I'm talking about. I love Lord of the Rings. Okay, so let's see. Uh, can this fit a belt in here? Yeah, basically. Um, actually, we can move this one tile further down, and they should still get hit by that beacon. And then we can definitely fill to, fill to, fit a belt in. Fill to belt in. Okay. And then the question is, is are we gonna have them go side by side or are we gonna have them 
share like share a belt or go um, two belts. Probably two belts, I would guess. Um, I think that it's probably a little bit too much to ask to do um, side by side. So we'll do uh, inserters like this, like this. There we go. And then we can just power it up like that. And then we need to do Coke and Coke. And then we're just gonna copy this and paste, paste it down. All right, so that's four buildings and we needed 12, I believe. Yes, 12. Okay, so that'll be pretty easy to copy. All right, that's eight and this is 12. There we go. And then we just need to do beacons for these other ones. Okay, there we go. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so that is all of our Coke. And then uh, it would have been nice if I had remembered to export it, um, but of course I didn't. All right, so just do this really quickly. Okay, there's our belt of Coke. And now <clears throat> we need to do a train for this. So let's actually, let's request some track because we're gonna need to do trains at our, um, we're gonna need to uh, work with some trains when we finally get to doing, Oh, that isn't good. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm, I do not like that. All right, all right, we're gonna put these on the other side, that's fine. And now they're not going to fit, huh? <laughs> oh boy, have I screwed this up. Um, let me see. Is there... There's got to... Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have to rework this really quickly. So we're going to have to do like these as far apart as possible. Yeah. So that's the one of the interesting things about uh, beacons and I believe it's space exploration is that uh, they cannot, you can't have a building um, that uses two beacons. It can only be one beacon. And so it's, I think that's a very interesting um, build mechanic because you can't have, you know, a million beacons like like the base game, which I, I hate doing builds of beacons around buildings rather than buildings around beacons. Um, which is what this kind of, um, which is what this encourages, is builds of buildings around beacons rather than the other way around. And I, I think that it just, um, it encourages much more interesting builds. And I think that it encourages much more interesting builds. Um, so let's see. Um, there we go, all right, well, Unfortunately, we had to use one extra building to do that, but uh, it shouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, there we go. All of our buildings are um, looking good now. So then, again, as I said, we need to figure out what to do with this belt of coke. And we've got our rail now. And do we need other... Let's uh, also request 50 of these. Uh, we also need to be in network for that. All right. So we can have our train come in right here, I think. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. You just need to basically hand it off. And let's see, this can turn right here. And we're gonna have to get rid of this signal. And Unfortunately, I'm going to have to get rid of that. Uh, there we go. That's fine. I, it, the wires aren't connected anymore, but that is not the biggest of deals. Um, and, of course, I never got my chain signals. Come on, guys. Come on. Where's the chain signals? Give me my chain signals. Okay. So we'll wait for that, um, and we'll extend this over here. But in the meantime... Um, we can put down a station that I also don't have. So let's also grab stations 
from our network. And um, we can put down a requester here at least for our locomotive that I also don't have. Okay, so we're gonna request locomotives and we're going to request some wagons as well. And I think that we only need one wagon for this. This is, let's see, we need a thousand Coke a minute, okay? Which we're gonna be making here. Um, the question then is, can one wagon do that? It's 40, 40 um, storage slots. And I'm trying to figure out if that is enough. All right, we've got our station. Let's put our station down, put this down, and then let's see, where's our wagon? I think maybe we should do two wagons, okay? And we are gonna do black for this because it's Coke. Looks kind of cool. All right, black. And I guess we did black for our coal too, but whatever. Um, and then this needs um, to request rocket fuel for our locomotives. And then our Coke is gonna come right in here. And let's do not a warehouse. I think we've done that enough. Let's let's do steel chests. And the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna just have the bots build it because I don't wanna have steel chests in my inventory. Um, so let's see, we're gonna have stack inserters here requesting or pulling from uh, steel chests. There we go. Uh, come on, there we go. Okay, um, so that is how that's gonna work. And then we'll have, hmm, <laughs> how are we gonna do this? I guess we'll have this come up like this. Come right over here and then do a split off like here maybe. And then split off again. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing this very well. Okay, here we go. Do a split off again like this. Like this. And then we'll copy that. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that will um, work relatively well. And we'll call this one, um, this is gonna be Coke Pickup. Where if I can find that. Where, where's Coke? There it is. All right, Coke Pickup. All right, so all of our greenhouses are working again. All of our furnaces are working, making that Coke working with that productivity bonus. We love to see it. And um, our train has got a thousand coke in. Very cool. And these uh, chests will start filling up here pretty quickly, I think, too. Okay, so that is that issue solved. And uh, the only other issue that is not solved is actually signaling this intersection. So let's see, crossing, um, crossing. And then we have merging, merging, um, merging, and merging. Okay, so that is our intersection signal now. It shouldn't get um, interrupted anymore. And what's wrong over here? I saw a flashing signal. Oh, it's behind this tree that you can't see. Okay, got it. All right, so we can just get rid of that. There we go. Okay. So that is everything from our, um, from here up basically, except for this. So we've got everything down here done. We've got Coke, wood, fertilizer, biomatter, sand, all done. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for today's episode. Uh, we got all, all the way through our Coke, like I said, and um, we obviously have quite a bit to do still, but we will be tackling that in the next episode. So. I thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could leave me a like and or subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you all on the next episode.